You'll notice that John is doing mostly this, uh, these repeated fifths. Even though on the Ed Sullivan Show you can see him uh, going down, up, down, up, down, up, but on the record clearly he's, he's doing a different kind of feel. And uh, it starts with, which is very different than what George is doing. I'll get to that in a minute. So John stays with the, Then notice on the fourth bar what happens. I'm on the first bar of the verse, and it's... Well, sorry. He gets this with the three strings. That's his chord. And then he changes it. He has one beat of an E pickup before he goes to the G chord next. So again, I'll go through that four bar pattern. And that's the verse. George's part is very interesting on this song because it's never identical from verse to verse or chorus to chorus, but there's a lot of common elements. Uh, the intro is, uh, of course, being that it's only the one time, it's a specific part, and it's one, two, three. Now, when he comes back to this bend later, sometimes he'll do with the two strings. Uh, another common uh, thread of George, when he's doing one, it's actually the very high position. One, two, three, four. So he's sliding into the 10th tenth, tenth fret. Uh, another uh, motif that, that recurs, as you know, is simultaneously with what's an overdub track of, and sometimes bent really far. Hard to tell where he's really starting. Uh, and then there's the bridge, uh, where he might even change to that uh, the more mellow sound. He probably does it by just playing closer to the fingerboard, but you could go to another pickup setting. Then you got to get to the pickup switch to restore 